Hello there, and welcome to Navigating Rutgers, an introductory financial guide. In this video, I will provide map clippings of the Rutgers campus, highlighting the places you need to know about in order to succeed financially here, and aspects of attaining a part-time job, learning how to time manage, exploring dining options, avoiding ATM fees, and more. Let's begin on College Avenue and point our attention to the Rutgers Office of Financial Aid and their student employment. They are located in Records Hall, on College Avenue, which is right behind Brower and across the street from the College of Student Center. They are dedicated to helping students find work and make our educations more affordable. They have two primary programs, the Federal Work Study Program and the Job Location Development Program, which if you visit this website, all of the details can be found there for each program. You can make an appointment anytime at this number or by contacting this email and you can find their office in room 140 in Records Hall, openings from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now, in order to properly manage your finances that you make from your part-time job, you must have a bank account. Whether you have never opened one or actively have one, making the switch to PNC Bank is a pro tip living on campus as a Rutgers undergraduate. The main location can be contacted at this number during their business hours and they offer six ATMs available all around campus. As you can see on this map, the main PNC location resides on College Avenue in the same strip mall as Barnes & Noble, which is where you can buy your textbooks. As mentioned, there is a PNC ATM in every student center, including the College Avenue Student Center, located on College Ave, Student Activity Center, which is one of the most popular bus stops on George Street, on College Avenue, Edison Student Center, located right here next to the dining hall, Bush Student Center, also located next to the dining hall, Cook Student Center, located right by the Cook Gym, and finally, right inside the Douglas Student Center here. Making this switch is key in order to avoid pesky ATM fees, which truly do add up, as many places around campus pose a credit limit, and I personally find myself taking cash out all the time. Next up, the Rutgers buses provide free transportation to some of the most important locations around campus. While they may not take you to the exact location you need to go, they may be crowded, and they're not always exactly on schedule, utilizing the system can cut costs on gas or Uber rides dramatically. There are two ways to check the Rutgers bus schedule. Option one is downloading the Rutgers app on your phone and viewing the stops, seen here, this way. Option two is utilizing Rutgers Translock, this website that shows you the routes in real time. Say for example, I want to take an LX from College Ave to Livingston. I can view all of the buses here in real time, see how many they are, there are, where they are, and I can view multiple at the same time as well. And as you can see, you can see where the buses are on the map in real time, giving the options to see as many or as few routes as you would like to get to where you need to go. Now that we know about the Rutgers buses, let's find some places to go. No matter how busy our schedules are, it is so important to find the time to move our bodies and exercise on a daily basis. Gyms are essential to an active lifestyle, and while some can be expensive, Rutgers luckily provides five fitness centers around campus with free, unlimited, to, unlimited use to Rutgers students with a valid RUID card. By following this link, you can easily select a campus and view the hours you'd like to see. Let's see, for example, the Easton Avenue, Gym is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. today. There are two gym locations on College Avenue, including the Easton Ave Fitness Center, located right by PNC, the College Avenue Gym, located right next to the Student Center, Corblin Recreational Center, definitely by far the biggest and most popular one, right across the way from the Bush Student Center, Ten Recreational Center, which is located right by the Freshman Quads, and the Cook Douglas Recreational Center, located right by the Student Center. While the locations can sometimes be crowded, the equipment provided gets the job done, and you can't be free access. Next, proper nourishment is key in fueling ourselves through our schoolwork, part-time jobs, exercise routines, and all other aspects of our busy schedules. On-campus residents are almost always required to get a meal plan by the school, and one would be smart to maximize this resource in order to save money on takeout food, groceries, and dining occasions. Rutgers offers a variety of locations in which to use your swipes. And while some are better than others, they are scattered all around campus, so there's always something to grab when you're in a rush and need food fast. To begin, I must address the night wagon and Starbucks trucks, which venture around campus depending on the day of the week. While the Starbucks truck follows a pretty regular schedule, as will be mentioned on each campus location, the night wagon fluctuates often, but each update their locations daily on their respective Twitter pages. Rutgers Starbucks truck, which can be found on Twitter as RU Star Truck, provides a limited but diverse menu of everyone's favorite Starbucks drinks and snacks. While the night wagon, found at 
at Nightwagon on Twitter, offers fat sandwiches, burgers, and fries, with a few healthy options as well. All official Rutgers Dining Commons share the same hours, which can be found here in addition to their daily menus. For the dining hours here, which are the same for all campuses, and takeout hours listed here. So on the Dining Services website, you can find menus, which are updated daily for dinner, lunch, takeout, etc. And this can also be found on the Rutgers app under food. Our Commons is College Avenue's official dining hall. They reside across the street from the College Avenue Student Center and gym. And while the food is the worst tasting, in my personal opinion, its convenience is a big perk, and you can make it work with salad, sandwiches, bagels, cereal, and by utilizing the waffle maker. Livingston has tons of options, as you can see here. Their dining hall is by far the best tasting and highest quality one, in my opinion, and I'm never disappointed getting food here or from their takeout. Henry's Diners recently started taking meal swipes with a $10 limit. is a great place to sit down and relax as an alternative to going out to eat and spending real money. Kilner's Market offers grab-and-go sandwiches, fruit and yogurt cups, and you can swipe twice up to a $9 limit. Rock Cafe offers cook-to-order breakfast and lunch items, and it is extremely, extremely convenient. Finally, Sabaro is a great alternative to an off-campus pizza place, and you can swipe out two slices, wings, salads, and pasta with ease. And the Starbucks truck visits Livingston every Tuesday. As you can see on this map, everything in Livingston is very centralized, with Rock Cafe and Sabaro in the Student Center, the Dining Commons right here next to the Student Center, and Kilmer's Market and Henry's Diner in the Rutgers Plaza. So. Bush Dining Hall is better than Brower, but not the best, but the convenience of it being right next to the Bush Student Center is unbeatable, as is the takeout. And Woody's is a sort of fast food place, grab and go, burgers, t uh, chicken tenders, things like that. Uh, and they do not take swipes between 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., which is very important. And Starbucks truck visits Bush every Wednesday. As you can see, things are pretty spread out on Bush, as Woody's is right by some apartments and the bookstore. And Bush Dining Hall and Takeout is right by the Student Center, as mentioned. Finally, Cook Douglas share one dining hall called Nielsen, which is probably the second best dining hall in my opinion, by far the healthiest, and they actually use produce from the Rutgers Farms and Gardens directly, which I think is awesome. Cook Cafe and Douglas are kind of one and the same. They offer really quick like grab-and-go sandwiches, salads, very easy stuff. Uh, Harvest is by far the healthiest white place on campus, featuring a smoothie bar, salad bar, healthy thin crust pizza, stir fries, etc. And Red Pine is an alternative to Sapporo, and they actually let you swipe out an entire pizza using two swipes, I'm pretty sure, which is definitely something to check out. And the Starbucks trucks visits Cook Douglas on Thursdays. Cook Douglas's options are a bit more spread out, as Nielsen is right off the Cats and Backstop. Harvest is right in the Food Science Building. Cafe is located conveniently in the Student Center. Both Red Pine Pizza and Douglas Cafe are located in the Douglas Student Center as seen here. This concludes the introductory financial guide to surviving here at Rutgers as an undergraduate and saving, making, conserving, and making smart decisions while doing it. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you learned a few things and look to the details below for links on my blog and other information. I hope this proves to be helpful.